Yes, for the news at 11, I'm Vanessa Rufus. Tonight, the countdown to South Carolina is on. Former President Donald Trump and former Governor Nikki Haley wrapped up their final pitches to voters just one day before the South Carolina primary. Now, recent polling data shows while this is Haley's home state, Trump is leading two to one. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker is in Rock Hill, where the former president spent the evening. While we are just hours away from the start of voting in the South Carolina primary, former President Trump says he is looking towards the future. His speech was not geared towards voting for tomorrow. While yes, he wants them to come out. It's more towards November, hoping to secure his seat as the president. Donald J. Trump. An introduction by South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster and Senator Tim Scott Friday night, former President Donald Trump takes the stage. Hello, South Carolina. I'm thrilled to be back. Winthrop Coliseum in Rock Hill packed with thousands, including other Republican lawmakers like Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, just hours before voting in the South Carolina primary kicks off. President Trump is going to be our nominee. We're who we want to, he's who we want to elect for president in 2024, and I'm, I'm excited. Tomorrow you will cast one of the most important votes of your entire life. The former president toe to toe against former South Carolina governor and UN ambassador Nikki Haley, something he says he's not worried about. We want to aim toward a time called November 5th. That's what we need, November 5th. Much of the former president's speech focused around what he thinks Haley couldn't do and highlights the mistakes he says President Biden has made. We're going to tell crooked Joe Biden you're fired. He wants to focus on, quote, America made and putting tax dollars back in Americans' pockets with a new trade agreement. South Carolina workers, I will pass the Trump Reciprocal Trade Act. You know what that is, right? If China or any other country makes us pay a tariff of, let's say, 100 or 200 or even 300 percent, and they do that, we will make them pay a reciprocal, identical tariff of 100 or 200 or 300 percent right back. It's called you screw us and we screw you. The former president also talking about immigration, announcing if elected, it will be the largest deportation of migrants in history. The polls open Saturday at 7 a.m. and they will stay open till Saturday at 7 p.m. If you need to find your polling location, you can visit WCNC.com. In Rock Hill, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte. In the meantime, Nikki Haley was in the low country today, focusing on national security and border issues, but she also took aim at her political rivals, former President Donald Trump and President Joe Biden. When it comes to national security, you want a president who's going to prevent war. You want a president that's focused on national security. You want a president that's going to keep Americans safe. That's what we want. So we know what to do with the domestic issues. We know what to do with national security. Now we got to decide what we're going to do on Election Day. Now, black women voters played a big role in propelling President Biden to the White House in 2020. And as the South Carolina primary draws near, that is a voter block both Democrats and Republicans are trying to attract. We gathered a group of black women voters to learn what is driving them to the polls. Women's maternal health. Someone my age may not have the same rights in terms of reproductive health that a generation before me had. As an African-American literature professor, that is something that is very concerning. I am more so dismayed with the fact that in the year 2024, we would even consider someone who is under indictment and a reminder, we have everything you need to know before headed to the polls on WCNC.com. If you text the word election to 704-329-3600, we will send that voting guide straight to your phone.